Hello, and welcome to the future of water use reporting in British Columbia. The Okanagan Valley, along with the help of the Okanagan Basin Water Board, has been chosen as the first pilot location for the BC Water Use Reporting Centre. The BC Water Use Reporting Centre is a simple, web-based system designed to help utilities and large water users regularly record their water use information. The data is securely held online until the time comes to make a report. The system was first introduced in the Okanagan as the Streamlined Water Use Reporting Tool, or SWERT. It's now known as the BC Water Use Reporting Centre, or for the purposes of this video, we'll refer to it as the Centre. The Centre is also being piloted in Nanaimo, starting in the spring of 2012. This video is an introduction to the Centre. We'll go through how to use it, how it works, and why we need this in the future for water in British Columbia. Without further ado, let's jump into the centre and leave the old days of paper reporting behind us. First off, let's navigate to the Water Use Reporting Centre's homepage by typing in www.bcwateruseporting.ca. Here you can enter your login name and password. You will get your login name and password by contacting the Okanagan Basin Water Board. All of your surface and groundwater licenses from the BC Provincial Database have already been uploaded into the program. It's all here waiting for you once you're logged in. Take a look at the black box on your screen that contains menu options. Let's have a look at the profile menu and we'll walk through setting up your own profile within the Water Use Reporting Center. On this page, we see a set of menu items along the top in a grey bar. If this is your first time visiting the centre, take some time and fill out your information for each tab. The centre will save this information and carry it through from year to year, which means that you only have to complete this step once. Of course, if you'd like to edit your information in the future, for example when new census data is available, you can do this by clicking on the Edit button. In the General tab, there's an option to specify which units to record and report your water data in. Once you choose the units here, they will be consistent through all other sections in the center. Next, let's take a look at the Licenses tab. Your water licenses should be listed in the box on the left-hand side of the screen. For first-time users, you'll need to check the box beside the license if it's a consumptive license, and uncheck the others, which means that they're non-consumptive licenses. If you would like to see more information about a certain license, simply click on the red X on the map. This gives us a drop-down box with all the information inside. Next, click on the Groundwater tab. By choosing a specific well in the drop-down menu, you can see, similar to the Licenses tab, that the well is marked on the map by a red X. Wells are designated by their well tag number. Next, take a look at the Reservoir tab. This is a place where you can enter information about lake and reservoir levels. If you want to make changes, simply click on the edit button in the top right corner. The names listed here refer to the information you entered in the general profile tab under the water system section. If you're a water user with return, for example through a wastewater treatment plant, use the return flow tab to enter the return flow volume. The last tab in the profile section is where you can add other users. There are three levels of users within the center. Administrators can change any of the information in the profile section as well as enter data. Data entry users can only enter information and viewers cannot modify any values but instead just see what's there. All changes are tracked in case there are any questions that need follow-up in the future. Now we navigate to the data entry area. This page is where you can enter your data, analyze it, and use it in far more ways than ever possible with paper reports. If you're a manager of several utilities, you can select the one you're reporting for from the drop-down menu. Here we'll look at how to input water use information. On the right-hand side of the page, select Edit. Clicking this button allows you to modify all fields directly on the website. You can now enter your information in the boxes below. Under the surface and groundwater tables, enter the volume using the same units that you selected on the profile page. Before clicking save, check the box to certify that the data you've entered is correct. 
If you'd rather use an Excel document to fill out the fields, download the template by clicking the template button. You may want to use Excel templates if you're recording data where there's no internet access. The Excel sheet allows you to enter data offline and then once connected to the internet, upload your recordings without having to retype. You can import Excel files through the data entry page in the center. You must validate your Excel document by clicking the button to certify the data before it can be imported. If there are any issues with the report, they'll be highlighted in red and we can go back and make the necessary changes to our Excel document. Once imported, the data will be saved in the system so that you can check back on it in the future. The Reservoir and Return Flow tabs will only be present in your toolbar if you've entered information about them in the Profile section. If you've set these up in your toolbar, you can enter recorded values the same way that we entered information for water use. Next, let's have a look at the dashboard by clicking on the menu button. The dashboard displays your water use as well as climate and temperature data from Environment Canada. There are several other tools on the left-hand side of the screen which help you understand the current state of your district and even forecast coming conditions. Feel free to explore the dashboard on your own and see what you can find out about water use in different areas. Last but not least, let's have a look at the reports section. This is where you get reports for the Ministry of Environment and summaries of your water use. Note that you can choose the year you want to see and the format you want to see it in. Let's have a look at the Ministry of Environment Water System Return Form. This is the form you must fill out and send to the province annually. Now it's conveniently online. Once you have the report, you can print it off, sign it, and then send it back to the Ministry before the deadline in March. For general help, or to find definitions for any terms found on the site, you can click this red question mark right here. Clicking on the question mark or clicking on the help tab at the top of your screen will direct you to the help page. This is where we have all the terms on the website and their definitions. So there you have the new way to report water use. Pretty painless and pretty simple. The BC Water Use Reporting Center promises to be a simple, free and secure water use tracking and reporting solution. Thanks for watching this walkthrough and for any further questions about the BC Water Use Reporting Centre, don't hesitate to get in touch with the Okanagan Basin Water Board.